welcome to Kicker Play Studio Tutorials. In these tutorials, we're going to discover a new application, the World Machine. We're going in the sections, look on all options that help you navigate and create your uh, terrains inside the World Machine. So let's begin first to look how we can um, find the World Machine, install it, where we can find and what is provided to us. So you can go on a website called the world-machine.com. Right here you can find under um, get options, you can download it. The basic edition is free. And for this series of tutorial, I'm going to use a basic edition. So it's help you to start. However, in our next section where we start creating projects and all other ones, I do highly recommend upgrade and standard edition it's cost only 99 dollars which is worth it and in our tutorials i explain why it's worth it and what it can provide for you so also till we're right here on a web page couple places i do recommend for you to kind of bookmark beside the community where you can go on the forum and ask people inside the resource tab one thing you need to take it's a device reference and a user guide this is very helpful to um, areas. One will provide you with PDF file of the application, well documented, well done. And another one's document references. It's where you have all the devices and you can look very nice explanation on them, what every device can do. One thing I do find this um, device, however, does not have a too latest version of the world machine so we're missing some snow creation and other ones but it's okay we'll cover them in our tutorials so and right now let's go ahead and start first with world machine interface you'll notice this interface it's look maybe a little bit outdated from all new um light wave view the uh, maya type interface however this is a very powerful interface and have a lot of options under um, your hand so you can very easy and fast access. First off, uh, right here on the top, we have a drop down menus with the standard file settings, edit, commands, war commands, direct the global modifications, device command. One thing I want to notice right here, it's called device. device it's this one section or block that will prefer in other applications if you're using before you maybe know them under name nodes so if accidentally i will call them node or device you kind of will know this i'm referring to these small segments that perform operations okay so next we have it also views we have it specific devices you can access these devices from the down or from menu below that we'll look in a second. We have parameter devices and also help web and all additional registration information. So below this, we have pass access to the menu, which is provide with creating new, open, save, export terrain menu. Next, we have the um, extensions preferences randomize will check random seed and modified this is additional views that you can access by f5 f6 7 and different keys which provide us device or not view what we have it currently a little layout mode we also have to explore a world mode we have a 3d view and 2d view these other buttons is allowed us to generate them the green is build all yellow build to current devices and tile build which have available in professional edition right here till i mentioned green and yellow color you'll notice by the device you have some coloring and yellow will represent it's not yet built so if we build all of them you'll notice now the switch to green and we'll look in a second on this closer okay on our left side we have it more as navigation preview um type of where we have it on top the type of the preview extensions you can create more than one extensions again 
Um, don't worry that you don't understand some of the terminology. When we come look closer, you kind of will start linking. But at least right now, you can place um, where that is exists. So right here we have the extensions. We have a different type of the preview. Hide with the shade. Also inside, you'll notice you can rotate if you right click with your mouse and hold it. If you left click with your mouse, you change a little bit light and position. Sometimes it does help because this is still be 2D even we think it's 3D. But with the lighting, it's give you a little bit better shading so you can see more dimensions in these pictures. Okay, next we have a color terrain 3D reset fit which is help us to work like for example set terrain color color does not affect um, terrain it's only cosmetics and for the preview reason okay we have a 2d 3d button right here which is toggle and this is switch preview mode between 2d and 3d of course the reset it's help us to go to basic standard if for some reason you modify and don't like it and fit is help us to set our terrain so it's fit inside the window we can view all of that segment the next toggle it will switch between different screens for example if I have it right here 3d preview I can click toggle and it's switch between them you can also right click anywhere on an empty space will prefer same operation okay next we have it water global level same effect so we can show this right here you can see we have it kind of water again this is to preview and when you have some water erosion this will help okay under this we have a sort navigation and we can access all of these nodes or devices directly from our menu this one will have a little bit more use when we start working on real projects so you become too used to um, operate in this browser window on our main window right here, you'll notice we have a um, main workspace, which is going to change depend on what type of the views you're using. Currently, we have a device view. You can have a layout view, preview, monitor. You have a web browser type view, 3D view of the extension you selected, and 2D view of this. Then normally you will switch between them depending on how your workflow going. We also have a bar below this which can send from favorites that you can set up and we look on this. Macros that you can download it and execute it. Those provided and can be downloaded from the website. We have generators, output combiners, filters, natural, selection, converter, parameters and flow. You can also switch them. By the name or favorites wherever you like it and we'll look on this one a little bit closer in our next tutorial see what is all of this um, type and how we can work inside the main device work space